Hey, what's up, people? Pins out here, and continuing my series in Argento Halloween. Today, I want to talk to you about Deep Red. And Deep Red was technically the third Dario Argento film I saw following opera and Suspiria, and it's always held a special place in my heart. And I think it's a very unique Dario Argento film when you sort of stand it up alongside other Dario Argento films in his career to date. But I'll get into that more in depth here momentarily. Uh, the story is about a British jazz pianist played by David Hemmings who witnesses a brutal murder while in Rome and is pulled into the investigation by a young brash journalist played by Daria Nicolodi and the two of them team up to try and uh, unwind <laughs> the mystery of who is the uh, brutal hatchet killer who's rather quickly uh, collecting a, a pretty big body count uh, in the film. And uh, the things that have always struck me about Deep Red is it's an amazing film to look at. And, and I've said that many, many times here talking about Dario Argento movies. But Deep Red is photographed so stunningly. Uh, the choreography of the camera, how the camera just moves around. The camera is so alive. It's so vibrant. The, Dario Argento's use of the camera, you know, almost as its own personality is just amazing. The movie is amazing to look at. The movie is also amazing just to listen to. You know, forget the fact that we've got an amazing Goblin soundtrack here. Probably one of the best Goblin soundtracks for any Dario Argento movie. Just the 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 sound design of the film. Uh, the, the eerie sort of howling wind that goes on in the soundtrack. The singing of children that's going on in the soundtrack. People moaning in the soundtrack. Just little things like crumblings, the things crumbling, or people walking on the floor, the sounds that their shoes make on the floor. Just an amazing film, not only to look at, but to really listen to. Um, I love the performances in this film. I love the performances of David Hemmings and Daria Nicolodi. Their relationship in the film, their chemistry in the film, is really one of the high points of Deep Red. And you really don't get that kind of character interaction in a Dario Argento movie. Dario Argento has been sort of historically more about, you know, he, he cares more about his camera and the shot than the actors and their acting. But in this film, that relationship is definitely a high point of the film. Love their performances, love their banter going back and forth. Uh, they even arm wrestle at one point in the film. Just love, love, love that relationship, that relationship th between those two characters, which you don't see in a lot of Dario Argento films. Usually the character interactions are kind of flat. The relationships are kind of flat here. David Hemmings, Dario Nicolodi, you just, you love them. You love their relationship. It's a high point in the film. Um, there's some great slow building kind of suspenseful moments in the film. There's one where David Hemmings is, he's, he, he's, he's riding on his piano and the killer comes into his home and he, he slowly realizes, oh, the killer is in my home, but what am I going to do? I can't alert them. So he's, he's kind of playing the piano one-handed to not tip off the killer that I know you're in the house, yet he's like looking for a weapon. He's trying to find a way out. Great sequence there. There's a great, great, just really weird, creepy, tense sequence that involves this like mechanical, um, like doll, I guess you could say. That's just, it's so weird and it happens and it's kind of, when you're watching it for, when I watched it for the first time, I just was like, what, what, what the hell was that? Um, great, great sequence. Argento really, really, it's, Deep Red is a slower sort of Argento movie. It's almost two and a half hours long. My only qualms with it is that it does seem to run a bit too long. It seems to drag a little bit in the third act. But when he's on here creating those suspenseful moments, he's doing it so well that you don't care. You, you almost don't want to see the payoff because you're so sort of, you know, locked into, you know, that slow grinding, you know, turning the screws, which he does, I think, in, in this film, he does it so much better than in some some more, even well-known Dario Argento movies. He's really the top of his game in Deep Red, I think. <clears throat> and we got a lot of great kills. A lot of great kills, hatchet killings, killings with knives, 
We've got one woman who's drowned in a tub of scalding hot water. We've got one guy who his mouth is smashed into basically into the table, the corner of the table, the corner of the fireplace. If there's a hard, sharp corner, this guy's mouth is being smashed into it, teeth chipping, flying everywhere, just really painful looking. Lots of great kills in this movie, of course. Dario Argento, he knows how to, to create a good kill. Um, and, it, yeah, it's a great Dario Argento movie. And what I think elevates it to a higher plateau among Dario Argento's body of work is <clears throat> the characters. Not just the kills. The kills are great. The, the movie, like I said, it's one of the most stunningly beautiful Dario Argento films, not only to look at, but to listen to. It's really the characters. It, it, it's, it's David Hemmings. And Dario Nicolodi that really, I think, just elevate this movie and carry it. And you love both the characters. You love their interactions. You love their relationship. They definitely have chemistry. Uh, both great actors and just, you know, for me, they're the heart and soul of Deep Red. There's a lot of great stuff going on in Deep Red. It's, you know, typical of Dario Argento of this time. It's beautiful to look at. It's beautiful to listen to. Lots of great, bloody, you know, well-choreographed kills. Awesome soundtrack. One of the best soundtracks um, Goblin has done for Dario Argento. And then you throw, you know, the cherry on top of that 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 Sunday, which is the great character, the the, the great character relationships uh, between David Hemmings and Dario Nicolodi in the film. And you've really got what I think is a very unique and definitely a standout Dario Argento film. Um, I really can't say enough not good things about Deep Red. Like I said, my only qualms are I do think it runs a little too long. Um, it's two, I think it's two hours and just about two and a half hours. The last act does drag a little bit, but I can forgive it for that. I uh, still think it's definitely one of the high points in Dario Argento's uh, catalog to date. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of Deep Red in the comments section below. I hope you guys are all having a great October, a great Halloween season. And uh, until next time when I continue my series in Argento Halloween, you guys take it easy. Peace.